why is a burger delicious at all? Yes, because everyone loves burgers. But I'd say the main reason is contrast. The burger is spicy, sweet, salty, sour, and umami. We also wanted to have different textures and colors. The sauce makes it creamy. There is a fluffy bun. The patty is kind of juicy. Cucumber is crunchy. Basically, this combination stimulates multiple senses and creates a more enjoyable experience. Okay, let's see if the contrast idea works. With these ingredients, not this. First, the burger buns. I'm gonna make a pre-dough and cook 1 tablespoon flour with 50 milliliter of water and 50 milk until it becomes pudding-like in order to get fluffy buns. We put milk, flour, yeast in a bowl and mix the whole thing. Since warm butter is added to the mixture later, and since I forgot to put it out in time, I let it melt on a pan. And the milk yeast flour mixture starts to form bubbles. We add the remaining ingredients, and that is sugar, salt, egg. And the pudding like mixture. And also the butter when it is no longer hot. Mix the whole thing briefly. And then add sesame oil. and the rest of the flour. Finally, you can start kneading. If it gets too sticky, just moisten your hands. Round the dough and then simply let it rest in a warm place for an hour. For the beetroot patties, I use red onions because, well, they're just so beautifully red. Wash beetroot, peel, and finally grate, and cut garlic. Heat oil in a pot. I like to use the oil from pickled dried tomatoes because it adds an additional umami flavor. Fry the sliced red onions. Add a sprig of rosemary and then deglaze with balsamic vinegar. Of course, you can also use soy sauce. Just not my taste. When the whole thing is a little caramelized, Add the grated beetroot, season with salt and pepper. Maybe some smoked pepper. And cumin. Add some nuts, for example these brazil nuts. You can add some oat flakes. If you want pre-cooked lentils. Finally, the beetroot. Yes, I know, it's not a big blender. Anyway. Some leftover ground hazelnuts. Finally start forming the patties. For the harissa mayonnaise, you need an egg, mustard, lemon, oil, harissa. To do this, add egg yolk, mustard, salt, pepper, lemon peels and lemon juice to a cup stir the whole thing by gradually adding oil until we have a nice emulsion mix the whole thing with harissa and our mayonnaise is ready to go for the avocado salad first cut the avocado into small cubes yes Marinate with olive oil and lemon juice, salt, pepper, and finally add chopped parsley.
and that is why fresh yeast is essential. Anyway, even if the dough didn't rise as desired, we do not give up. Simply shape it round and then divide it into even pieces. Then form the pieces into burger buns. Then let them rest for another 50 minutes. Always don't forget to keep your kitchen clean, otherwise you will quickly end up with a mess. Brush the small doughs with egg yolk and bake for about half an hour until golden brown. Meanwhile cut the carrots into slices and fry them. Then fry the patties in the same pan on each side for about 6 to 8 minutes. I mean you should toast the inside of the burger buns. But maybe not on the stove. Finally, stack your burger as you like it. The idea of contrast also allows flexibility. Can you find any lettuce? Take beet leaves. Can you find red onions? How about spring onions or shallots? You get the idea. I'll be honest with you, I completely messed up this recipe. As you can see there are many sources of error. But I don't really care, because that's exactly what this is about. Cooking isn't always about perfection. Don't be afraid of making mistakes, have fun instead. Experiment with healthy ingredients and try out different textures, colors and flavors. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.